what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. So I really appreciate that you are joining me because I get to tackle my two dendrobiums here. They are on the list for today to be dealt with. I have Dendrobium sutkinoi and Gyrac horn to take care of, clean up. And I'm not exactly, let's say, too positive about what their status might be. Being Dendrobiums, being in this method of lecker and self-watering, not getting the defined wet-dry cycle that they like. Um, yeah, three years in the pot now. Let's have a look. I know that they can still take a couple of more years, but I prefer to go in after three years maximum in this setup. So happy to be back in my summer staging area by the hedge, making sure it grows with my carbon dioxide. <laughs> and there's no breeze of any significance today that is going to affect the mic. Now I'm getting some, yeah, some resistance, but that was only because of the support. Both have bloomed for me. So this is a marginal success, but the roots look atrocious, which is understandable because it's not something that they are too keen on. One root has grown down into my old makeshift support with sellotape around the base to avoid rust, because I can't get the rust-free materials here in small quantities and I'm not an industrial grower so yeah that was me back in the day my support with sellotape around it but look no rust it worked and the roots are abysmal however I will not be deterred I shall continue with this setup I don't want to go into lava rock because that repotting is always so unforgiving on fine roots. And as I speak, I'm thinking, why not lava rock if you can leave it in the pot several years more than the three that I go for when I'm in lecker and self-watering? Am I having a change of thought? Because you can see I've got my lecker prepared for the repot. But what if... Hmm. <clears throat> Small lava rock in self-watering. In this pot. Let's have a look, see what the other one looks like. Yeah, maybe there is a change of plans small lava rock and then speculate on leaving it in the pot for five six years that could work but you see there's a new growth coming which means new roots will come so when i clean this up there won't be much left but the orchid is a dendrobium and as we know dendrobiums are resilient at best they are very firm roots so as they appear to be deteriorated and brown, they do feel firm, but there's nothing left of them. There's nothing left. I can, if I wanted to be harsh, I could just yank them off, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to snip, snip, cut. And then, yes, I'm going with small lava rock. Let's do this little dendrobium a favor and give it some time to recover. So these white roots look a little bit dodgy, but they're okay. I don't want to be snipping off too much because some of it will help me in anchoring. And as my pot is 100% inorganic, I don't have to worry about acidity and rot and all of that. But what I will do is change my entire thought process and go and get my small lava rock. And then I shall be a little bit more comfortable 
that this orchid will be okay and not just languishing. So that is what we are going to do. Important to be able to change one's thought process at the spur of a moment, because clearly I was not prepared to go with lava rock. But I can do it, because this one doesn't have to be repotted then every three years. Makes my workload also much easier. So let's see what's in the other one, because then I need to know how much lava rock am I going to get? And I know which ones they are. So it's not a problem with me taking off the labels out of the pot. But now I'm curious because if I have to just rinse out some lava rock, it's all prepared and ready to go, but it's, so, it's such a dust collecting media that I'm quite happy to rinse it out one more time before use. But let's look at this one first and see. Well, yep, too loose, not much give, but it tried. It tried, it had a bigger, more aggressive root system than the soot pinoy. And it is stuck in the microfiber. So we'll pull that out and see which root needs to be addressed without breaking it. Right. With lava rock, I will also be able to give them a better, more controlled cycle. Not, I won't go dry, but I can really control the climate in the pot better than if I just used leka all the time. It's an active root, which is good. Yep. We're going to give you hope. The root system isn't as bad. I do have some healthy, long, viable roots. It's nice to see that it's also more of an aggressive root system. The other one probably was reluctant because it wasn't getting exactly what it needed in the pot. So we'll just chop this one up into such a manner that it is clean as best as possible. But I do also want to secure the anchoring capability, but I have enough roots in the front, I'm sure, that I can do that with. Tough roots. These are like, you probably can hear my snips. They're like sticks, even though they're depleted. Well, that was easy. And here's one more. And that's it. All cleaned up. Well, as best. Oh, there's one more there. Let's take care of you too. And just take care of the brown ends. For the sake of being thorough. I have a frog in my throat today. I hope it's not affecting how I'm speaking. But Mr. Ribbit decides to stay there. I tried to get rid of him all morning. Not working. All right. Lots of lava rock. Just to rinse it out and uh, I shall be back. All right, before I go, actually, I was just going to make note can see I had two microfibers in here as well. We're going to change that too. I think we're going to go with just one microfiber and small lava rock. Right, so my latest little thing is that I like to now fill up my pots enough so that the loop starts to float, so that I don't have to fandangle 
with my hands too much. The idea being as lava rock goes in, it'll be easier to distribute underneath the loop. So I make sure that the masks are full enough to accommodate that. That has always been the plan. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's easier with Lekka. They just roll into place. Lava rock is a different story. That'll give me a head start with the wicking. And seeing as there's not many roots, I don't think I'm going to have an issue with getting the orchids into position at all. Because it is lava rock, I'm a little bit more precise about where the last position of the orchid is in the pot, simply because I don't want to be pulling her up. Lava rock is much heavier than Lekka, and the roots that I have shouldn't get too damaged. Now the question is, will the roots fail because I am changing the media 100%? It's possible. I doubt it, however. I doubt it. Clearly, there's going to be a lot more flushing to do, and I can definitely monitor how I can keep the climate of the pot a little bit more wet at this point in time, knowing that I have a drier media in the pot. Seeing as they're close to the microfiber, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. The microfiber will stay very, very wet because of the water in the reservoir. I have to say though that this is the dustiest lava rock I have ever, ever had to deal with. It has been rinsed prior to even being boiled. Prior to boiling as well, I soaked it because of just how much debris and dust came out of it, then rinsed again, then it was boiled, rinsed again, and then of course dried off, you're thinking it was all good. My goodness, the amount of dust that just came off when I was rinsing it again to, before putting it in the pot. Yeah, that was, that surprised me a lot. And it's not exposed to the outdoors. So there's, <laughs> it was in a sealed bag. So there's really, really no, I don't understand how it could be so dusty, but hey, this one does need a support. And you can see I only used one microfiber, so I'm really, really dialing down how wet the pots will be inside. For self-watering, this is going from one extreme to the other. The Lekka being very wet and two microfibers to now the lava rock being drier and one microfiber. So there's two, there's two extremes here. Yeah, that's why we need to pinch it, Nina. You've got to pinch that little loop. That's better. And now all I have to do is make sure I don't move them too much. They will be in a position where I can flush them without having to maneuver and fandangle them around other pots that are around there. They'll have to be moved a little bit more forward, so all I have to do is lift up, flush, put back, because this is very unstable. But I think this is going to work much better. So let's get Gyrac Horn's label in and move on to the next one. Mindful of that new growth there. Very, very mindful. Working with lava rock, it can knock anything out within a blink of an eye. Tried a new camera angle today. I don't know if it's effective. I'm hoping, and maybe it's better for some to be able to see what I mean about my microfiber being a little bit more 
floaty floaty now. I don't just pour away the calcium and magnesium. I just leave it in the mask, giving me the opportunity to maneuver any kind of media underneath the loop while it is floating. So I'm leaving this one a little bit lower in the pot because the canes in the back are gonna help me with the support. There's not much tapping needing to be done here. Everything's falling into place. And also I left the lecker on the roots because clearly it's inorganic. I don't have to worry about removing that in case anybody were to wonder. And the reason now I'm doing this is because I don't want to have to touch them for, in my opinion, now five years. This should make all the roots happy as they grow and also inside the pot. And the rhizome is so tight, the growth habit, I don't need to worry about it taking over the pot too quickly. Unless, of course, now a growth starts in the back here, which can always happen. By which time, of course, then we reassess the situation. <laughs> and then lava rock is not forgiving at all. We'll have to wait and see. Short term, I think this is going to be much, much better. And I'm very pleased that I could wrap my head around, take away the premier strategy, and then make use of the fact that I've got small lava rock. Woohoo, and here they are. Goodness me. I'm glad I had my thinking cap on today. Normally I would just go, oh, lecker, and you know, you're in full cruise mode, repot mode. It's just like lecker, 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 lecker. Nope, today I actually managed to activate my thinking cap and make this adjustment. And I'm sure that they're gonna do much better when the new growths develop the roots. The ones that are in here right now, they're just to tide them over because these both now need new roots. But I think you're gonna be much, much better off this way. If you have any questions, and I was just, too distracted with what I was doing and not explaining myself properly. Please ask away in the comments below. I'd be really, really happy to qualify anything that you saw here that looked a little bit like, huh? <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. Stay safe, please. Bye.